there's a story that I see floating around the internet from time to time, and to be honest, I haven't checked it out. I don't know if it's true or not, and it doesn't really matter. The story goes that Thomas Jefferson couldn't believe the parts of the Bible that had miracles in them. So he took some glue and a pair of scissors and cut out the parts that had the miracles and pasted it all back together and made his own version of the Bible <clears throat> that didn't have any miracles in it. And lately I've actually run into a few people that kind of do the same thing. Christians that say that well, they say they're Christians, and they say they're followers of Jesus. But there are parts of the Bible that they have a hard time believing for various reasons, but one of them being the miracles. They have a hard time buying... things in the Old Testament like axe heads floating or donkeys talking they even have a hard time believing things that could sort of be natural means without miracles like Noah building an ark and saving his family and all the animals from a worldwide flood. And I have a problem with, with people not believing in that sort of miracles in the Old Testament because that brings into question miracles that are in the New Testament. Do we really believe that Jesus healed the blind man, healed the leper, healed the lame man? And if you begin to question those miracles, then it's really easy to question The Apostle Paul raising a young man from the dead after he fell out of a window. You start going, well, you know, maybe maybe he wasn't really dead. Maybe they just thought he was dead. And if you question that, did Jesus really raise Lazarus from the dead? question whether or not Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead, then you question whether or not Jesus was raised from the dead. And suddenly you've undermined really the whole faith that we have. Our faith depends on miracles. We believe that this world started with miracles, with creation, with God saying, let there be light, and there was light. And on and on and on. Either we have a God that is big enough and powerful enough to do miracles like creating the entire world, or we don't. And if he's big enough to create the entire world, isn't he big enough to make a donkey talk? And if he's big enough to make a donkey talk, 
then Jesus can raise Lazarus from the dead. And if God's big enough for Lazarus to be raised from the dead, then he's big enough for Jesus to be raised from the dead. And our salvation hangs on that. So, either God does miracles or he doesn't. Either Jesus was raised from the dead or he wasn't. And if he wasn't, then it's not worth being a Christian and it's not worth the worth following him. So, you might want to think about do you believe in miracles?